ventricles of the brain the topic for today's class is fourth ventricle fourth ventricle is the cavity of hind brain and that is the one which will be intervening between the cerebellar hemispheres posteriorly and the pons and the open part of medulla oblongata ventrally it presents four angles so the four angles which can be appreciated here so this is the rostral angle of the fourth ventricle and this continues with the cerebral aqueduct of sylvius which is the cavity of midbrain and this is the caudal angle of the fourth ventricle which is continuing with the central canal of the closed part of the medulla oblongata the lateral angles are the ones which intervene bit of v the flocculus and the inferior cerebellar peduncles the lateral angles will present two well defined foramina which are called as the foramina of lashka the major portion of the csf leaves the ventricular system through these foramina that is one medial foramen of majendi and a pair of lateral foramina of lashka and this portion is the anterior wall or the floor and this is the roof or the dorsal wall the upper part of the roof or the dorsal wall is formed by the superior medullary velum which is going to connect the two superior cerebellar peduncles the superior cerebellar peduncles are the ones which connect the cerebellar hemispheres with the midbrain the lower part of the roof of the fourth ventricle presents a conjoint membrane of pila choroidea and the pia mater and this is the one which invariably presents the choroid plexus hello everyone continuing with the fourth ventricle coming to the floor of the fourth ventricle so this is the diagram for the floor of the fourth ventricle which is rhomboid in shape and that is the reason it can also be called as the rhomboid fossa upper part this is the superior cerebellar peduncle which will be connecting the cerebellum with the midbrain middle this is the section of the middle cerebellar peduncle which connects the cerebellum with the pons the lower part is the inferior cerebellar peduncle which is also called as the reciform body and this is the one which connects the cerebellum with the medulla oblongata the floor of the fourth ventricle will be divided into two symmetrical halves by a sulcus called as median sulcus so this is the median sulcus which is dividing the floor into two symmetrical halves lateral to the median sulcus one on either side there is a curved line which is present with a convexity laterally and concave medially and this is called as the sulcus limitans the sulcus limitans divides the rest of the floor into a medial area which is called as medial eminence and the lateral area which is called as the vestibular area so this is the medial eminence and the lateral one is the vestibular area where there is the maximum width of the floor in that area along the sulcus limitans there is a depression which is called as superior fovea so this is the superior fovea 
which is appreciated along the sulcus limiters at the area of the maximum width. Similarly, at the inferior part of the sulcus limitans, there is a depression along the sulcus limitans and this is called as inferior foia. The uppermost part of the sulcus limitans presents a bluish colored discoloration which is considered as locus ceruleus. So this is locus ceruleus which is a bluish colored area appreciated along the upper part of sulcus limiters. This is said to be rich in noradrenaline and it is concerned with paradoxical sleep. At the level of superior fovea, the medial eminence presents a bulge. This is considered as facial colliculus. So facial colliculus is nothing but a impression which is formed by the internal genu of the facial nerve which loops across the nucleus of the abducent nerve. Then the inferior aspect at the level of this inferior fovea, the medial eminence presents a triangular area. So this triangular area is called as hypoglossal trigone. So this is the hypoglossal trigone which is appreciated in the area medial to the sulcus limitans inferior to inferior fovea. So lateral to the hypoglossal trigone there are two areas which are differentiated by a structure called as funiculus separans. So below the funiculus separans, this to the sulcus limitans, below the inferior fovea, two areas are differentiated by a structure called as funiculus separans. So above the funiculus separans, this is called as vagal trigone and inferior to funiculus separans is an area called as area postrema. Area postrema is one such structure which is devoid of blood brain barrier and this is considered as a respiratory and vomiting center. The rest of the lateral area that is lateral to the sulcus limiters, this whole thing is a vestibular area which presents series of vestibular group of nuclei. So they can be categorized as superior, lateral, inferior and medial. Superior, lateral, inferior and medial vestibular group of nuclei. Lateral, inferior and medial. So these are the vestibular group of nuclei. Then inferior to the facial colliculus, we can appreciate series of fibers which are traversing across the floor of the fourth ventricle. These fibers are called as striae medullaris. These are the fibers which are emerging from the arcuate nucleus and goes towards the cerebellum. Hence, these fibers are also called as arcuate cerebellar tract, which is also considered as striae medullaris. And coming to the upper part of the floor of fourth ventricle, we can appreciate the posterior component of the midbrain. So that is the tectum, which is also called as the corpora quadriceminum, and one on either side. So this areas will have the presence of the geniculate points. So what happens is 
this is the inferior colliculus and this is the trochlear nerve the only cranial nerve which is emerging from the dorsal surface of the brain so the inferior colliculus will be connecting to the inferior brachium and it gets connected to medial geniculate body so inferior colliculus through the inferior brachia gets connected to medial geniculate body medial geniculate body so the ones which are concerned with the auditory pathway whereas the superior colliculus through the superior brachia gets connected to the lateral geniculate bodies so lateral geniculate bodies are the ones which are concerned with visual pathway so to summarize this is the diagram for the floor of the fourth ventricle which is symmetrically divided into two equal halves by a sulcus called as median sulcus there is one curved line one on either side of the median sulcus which is called as sulcus limitans along the maximum bulge sulcus limitans presents a surface depression called as superior fovea in the lower part there is inferior fovea and uppermost part the bluish discolored area which is called as locus ceruleus so locus ceruleus is the one which is concerned with paradoxical sleep the sulcus limitans will divide this whole area into a medial medial eminence and the lateral one is the vestibular area vestibular area presents the vestibular group of nuclei the medial eminence at the level of superior fovea presents facial colliculus which is nothing but an impression which is formed by the internal genu of the facial nerve looping across the abducens nucleus and lower part along the medial eminence below inferior fovea is the hypoglossal trigone lateral to sulcus limitans there are two areas separated by funicular separus below is area postrema and the upper one is vagal trigone area postrema is devoid of blood brain barrier and it is a center for respiration and vomiting then along the floor below the facial colliculus there are fibers of striae medullaris which are connecting the arcuate nuclei to the cerebellum hence it is also called as arcuate cerebellar tract coming to the specimen of the floor of the fourth ventricle so here you can appreciate the posterior surface of the midbrain here so this is the tectum or the corpora quadrigeminum and the rest of it is the floor of the fourth ventricle the lowest part of the floor of fourth ventricle it resembles like a nib of a writing pen hence it is also called as calamus scriptorius and this term was first described by herophilus and this is the median sulcus which is separating the entire floor into two symmetrical halves and lateral to that this is the sulcus limitans which is separating the rest of the floor into the medial eminence and the lateral vestibular area so lateral vestibular area presents the vestibular group of nuclei whereas the medial area is called as medial eminence and where there is maximum width there is a depression along the sulcus limitans so this is called as superior fovea so medial to superior fovea this bulge is facial colliculus so facial colliculus is the one which is formed by the internal genu of the facial nerve looping across the abducens nucleus these are the fibers of striae medullaris which is also called as arcuate cerebellar tract and lowest part so medially this is the hypoglossal trigone and laterally this area by funicular separans it is divided as the vagal trigone above and area postrema below